All right, Jenny, Mabel, G. G. Good girls. Okay, I think we're too far forward. I want you to go tighten up both links to, like, not the spinny one, the one right before it, okay? Mm -hmm. Go, girls. Good girl, Stan. Hi, Ginger. There? Yep. Good girls. Oh, those little piggies. More ginger. All right, girls. You don't talk? Hey, Lily. So. Girls, you gotta stay in the tray. There, go, girls. Careful step. Mabel didn't like the fence. No, that's fine. Moo! There's moo cows over there somewhere. Go, girl, Mabel. It's okay. Go, girl. So pretty. <laughs> so nice. They're doing good so far. Mm -hmm. Mabel did a nice little pull up that hill, yeah. which is great. Gave honey a break earlier. Okay. So neither of them have been out here before. So yeah. everything's going to be a bit new. I expect them to be a little bit distracted by that, but that's okay. And it's our first cart run out here with any horses. And if you've been following us, uh, we're not using Izzy and Sally for this first one today just because it's a bit rough out here. And they're uh, very go, go, go. So I just want to see what it's like taking the cart through with our slow and steady team. And then minimize any chance of something really going wrong with the, rather than galloping through the forest with our go, go girls. Good girls. This is probably the worst spot for sure. Careful steps, Jenny. Good girl. They're doing very good with their footing though. Yeah. Good girls. Good girl, Mabel. 
I know I'm going to cut some of those trees down. I wanted to see where they were at today. Don't like you guys rubbing up against them unless we're logging. It's very and nice in here right now. When we bring our uh, nicer trail wagon through here, we don't want people smacking their heads on trees, obviously. No. But I've already been through the trail once with one of our machines, and it's always amazing. We generally stay out of the forest um, from around mid-May till it's mid-August now. Um, part of it's the bugs, but part of it is just to kind of let the forest do its thing during the summer. And it's I'm always just amazed at the amount of leaf out because we spend so much time out here in spring, summer, and fall. Careful steps, girls. Good girls. Easy. Careful. Uh, like I was saying, we spend so much time out here in the seasons where there's not full foliage, and uh, it's just amazing how much it fills in. And this summer was uh, probably perfect for a forest in the sense that it had, we had so, such a perfect mix of heat and wet. So it's, uh, it was pretty amazing when I came through here. We are going up Last the week first or so. Hill. Yeah, and so this is a pretty big hill. Um, it's not too steep, but it's fairly long. And I like the idea of going this way. It kind of gets their muscles working a bit. Ideally, tires them out a little too, so that they're not too anxious. And... Again, if we had the Belgians right now, they'd be loping up this hill. And... Yeah. Uh, Alexa can get a couple, a shot of kind of just how much the trees overarch into the into the trail there. It's uh, some quick decision making in a lot of instances. And I don't want to have to do that while I'm seeing how well the cart handles out here. So, but they're doing great. Mabel's doing most of the pulling right now, which is exactly what I wanted. She's the one that needs this type of exercise more than anything. And, uh, yeah. But Jenny's doing you know, her part. It's good to get her a bit of work, too. We're doing very good. But this is quite nice, um, frankly. We've been uh, obviously only on our, our roads around here. We don't have to think about anything like traffic. or. Um, I am so anxious to, uh, to start some logging work out here because that was kind of, uh, not kind of, but that was my, the thing I wanted to do most getting into draft horses. So we've got a wonderfully beautiful forest that needs some substantial thinning to keep it yeah. healthy and there's a lot of deadfall and stuff. So it's going to be a great little experience for, for all of us. And, uh, before we start doing some work for, for other people in a similar fashion. Actually, you can get shots of like different areas of the forest and up, hill, up to the top of our hill uh, on our property. I'd say it's 100, 150 feet or you know, 30, 30 to 40 meters, I guess, um, above anywhere from, sorry, 30 to 50 meters above the level of our fields down sort of where our house is. Um, it's quite stunning up here, and once we do thin a little bit, uh, the views are just incredible. So we see it as an ideal spot for things like trail rides and uh, wagons. Which we are going to do soon, yeah. hopefully, this week. And trail rides? Yeah, us, and but even for the public, right? So yeah. I'm going to give them a little break here. They did a nice job pulling up the hill. Okay, girls. Who? Go oh, say, girls. I'll go say hi. Yeah. You like it in here or what, girls? It's nice, eh? It's not hot. Hey. You good girls. I know. Come in front here. Hey. Hey, Mabel. Good girl. You guys having fun in here? It's nice and cool in here, too. Well, that's the nice thing because not only is it nice and cool, it's there are zero bugs yeah. right now. I had one mosquito in my ear, but... Yeah. And I mean, yeah, we'll see a little bit of that, but um, had we come out here even two weeks ago, the the horse flies and deer flies um, would have been in absolutely intolerable, not only for us, but for certainly for the horses. And even down now at uh, on our pastures and, you know, in their shelter, there's still an abundance yeah. of, I guess they're called stable flies. I'm not really sure, but just the typical little, you know, smaller than a house fly 
uh, looking fly. I've always called them cow flies because the cows are usually covered in them this time of year too. But um, so that's actually a nice relief, and I, I think the girls are really going to appreciate that because they'll they'll those types of flies will be around for another month or so. So I think they'll look forward to being able to work a bit and uh, do it in such a pleasant environment. Yes. They're nice and warm. The girls. Yeah, okay. Well, they're not too tired. All right, girls. <laughs> Careful steps, girls. Yeah. Yeah, and we've got some spots out here that are. Um, so I can take my excavator through here just slightly. Um, our tractor comes through here fairly well. Um, and certainly this, but with the wagon, it would be close. But there's a few spots in the trail where it's a bit iffy. So I'm very glad we took our. Took these guys out instead of the Belgians for my first time through here for sure. And as pretty as it is to have, you know, s some of these small branches and a lot of what you may be seeing on the camera that even the horses are running into are just um, the species is red maple. So in a month or so when the leaves start to turn, it is uh, really a magical thing to see in here, but it's a little bit annoying for yeah. both the horses and ourselves. So we're going to cut back quite a bit of that. Uh, just to kind of open the trail up, especially for the wagon. And uh, we're we're very blessed uh, with the forest itself. You know, yeah, that's just the trail part, but there's around 120 acres of it, and it's just... Oh, Mabel wants to go. Just she's, beautiful out here. She's got nice soft footing in here. Why yeah, wouldn't you want to go? Exactly. But the bush is not the place to go. That's what the road is for. Well, although I don't mind a bit of a trot. For um, logging and stuff? But, yeah. But, once, but right now, because the footing's not the absolute best in here. Exactly. And, you know, taking this through in the wintertime, I don't mind either if the girls um, want to give it a go slow. a bit. It'll be nice and soft, yeah. and especially the Belgians. And the only difference there is obviously traction for uh, whatever cart or wagon we're on it's going to move around a little more and yeah. the one thing I don't want to do is move any of the bigger trees that are close to the trail even though that's an obvious hazard in the winter if you slide a little bit so we'll have to manage that you know there's there's no discounting that there's a, a bit of a danger in anything we do with the horses and so safety first but careful steps girls Ideally, we can get some work done out here this fall, too. There's a few spots where it's wetter, so there's some ruts, and they both want to go a little bit. Yeah. It's wonderful. Jeez. That's all out on the roads. That has yet to happen, um, and I really don't mind. They sort of know we expect them to be at a trot most of the time, and so they're actually doing it or looking to do it in some of the careful steps. Good girls. Ooh. Watch yourself here, Alexa. Yeah, okay. There's one spot back there where the bedrock is exposed, and I don't like it very much. It's got a spot. Careful steps, girls. Easy. Good girls. Easy. They're actually so careful with their walking, which is great in an environment like this. Yeah. We can just fix up those few little potential hazard spots. Uh, both for, you know, riding back here. They're they're doing great, but we're getting kind of bounced around yeah. through here and it's it's fine, but easy girls. Careful steps. Easy. Good girls. Good girls. We're coming up on a spot. It'll be relatively dry today but once the wetter weather starts to come in the fall there um this is just pure mud it's actually they'll have to walk through water and i'd love to get this fixed but it's probably going to be a culvert careful it's amazing the cart we're on is actually as much as we've been using on the roads it's actually a trail cart so we've got under our seat some nice suspension and 
it's really not that bad considering how uh, uneven some of the areas are and the girls are doing fantastic yeah barely any stumbling yeah and considering good, yeah. yeah and it's not even really stumbling and if they are it's just you know they kind of slip on a bedrock a bit and yeah. I, I expected that so and for their first time through, they've obviously been in a similar environment because they're not, uh, they're not nervous. No. You know, they're not trying to get through too quickly. And I'm doing very little steering. I do have tension on the lines, but they're, you know, the opening is fairly self-evident and I think they can see that. So they're not trying to pull off. Even when there's a little side trail, they're not pulling off. And on the roads, um, we may have mentioned it a few times, but especially with this team we still have a little bit of trouble with them where basically every driveway or turn they're, they're not sure what to do yet and some of that's you know how we use them out there because we kind of mix things up so there's a bit of uncertainty on their part um, with respect to that so easy girls and of course when they pick up speed a little bit easy careful careful um, it's it's kind of magnified here in the forest just because of how careful, how uh, you know skinny the trail is, so to speak. Careful, girls. Wow. Okay, bouncy. <laughs> careful steps. Good I girl, don't know Mabel. How going down this hill is gonna go. Good girls. They're gonna trot down this hill. Easy. Careful steps. Walk. Yeah, you have to make them. Good walk down girls. Here. Good girls. It's hard sometimes. Uh, I'm gonna stop in here. Good girls. Well, um, when I'm talking and driving at the same time, I kind of have to be careful. I'm not using some command words and what I'm saying, and I don't like to. Uh, I like to try and stay as quiet as I can with my commands, and but sometimes uh, I gotta get their attention. So we're, yeah, we're about to go down a fairly steep hill that's got a curve at the bottom, and obviously um, we want them walking down there. I'd like them to walk, uh, just because it's and it's actually a kind of a thin spot. So you can see I just said walk, and they went ahead. So we gotta, gotta be careful with that sometimes. But other than that, they're doing awesome out here. Yes, which is great. Uh, awesome to the point. I'm probably gonna take them around a second time. All right, girls, they careful steps. We'll see. Okay, girls. Jenny, quit it, please. Okay. Good girls. Careful. And walk. 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 This isn't easy for them, um, but I'm so happy that they're responding because from a logging perspective, um, where my planned landing is, or if we bring skid the logs right back to the house, um, there's no choice but to go downhill. Yeah. Because the forest is up, so. And they're gonna have to trot. And yeah, if we have the logging cart, it'll be okay. It's just but if they, we're, doing we're down the hill now. They did awesome, and I don't think I had any more tension than I usually do. So just knowing, um, you know, logging's what without horses is a very dangerous undertaking and just the horses do add a level of danger there too but if you have a very well trained team who's very responsive to your commands then you can minimize that of course and i am uh, just beyond pleased so far because we're almost out there's one little small hill left and we'll be back to kind of uh, where we started and yeah I'll let them do it one more time for sure and they're because they're not working very much um, we may do this up to four times today poor Mabel's just really wanting to get into a trot but it's a little bit uh, on Jenny's side up here I'm a little bit nervous so. And, I, and it's hard to tell now, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but certain areas, like certainly to the right, there's about a 30-foot drop down there, and uh, that wouldn't be a lot of fun. No. The reality is, uh, while the horses could are, are quite agile and would be fine, the cart itself can tip over. We wouldn't um, be fine. Yeah, and it, would, it would literally just launch us right out, so 
and I and actually the horses would be okay in that situation. The, the tongue might bother them, but we're gonna be tumbling down a hill. So <laughs> easy, girls. It does not sound like fun. So. Here, I'm not as worried. Just a little down. If they want to move a little bit, more concerned about footing as they get used to things. And oh, over there, at the corner of the rock, they can't trot over there. No, exactly. Gonna get hurt. Yeah, just northern Ontario and exposed bedrock. You do what you can. And uh, easy, girls. Wood chips. And last year's wood chips. Careful steps. And we're sort of we're not back to the start. It doesn't take us quite back, but you, you may start to recognize some of the similar things like that red trailer. And I think the more times we take them through here, they're going to learn the trail too, which we're already seeing on the roads, despite what I said earlier about them turning, but they certainly know uh, our, some of our basic routines out there, that's for sure. And so this is great. They're, they're just, they're doing so good. They're not pulling one side or the other. They have an excellent pace. They're actually eager. Jenny's doing fantastic. Careful steps, girls. Kind of right. bumpy through here. Good girls. Careful steps. Good girls. Their things are coming undone there. Yeah, I noticed that. I'm going to try and get something better for that this weekend. If I didn't have a ditch to cross, I might have a little bit of fun and let them open it up in our big field a bit. <laughs> There's that ditch to get through. We can't go through that? Uh, it's not that deep. No, it's, it's steep. Easy, girls. Whoa. Whoa. Good, girls. Well, we're going to fix that. We want to go tighten those up. Stand. I know, you girls really want to go. It's okay. Both of them this time, eh? Maybe the field will be stand. Fun. Jenny might actually go. Hmm. I'd rather it was cut though, so, uh, so like there's no the there's no big are. holes out there, but there is the those drainage swales. Yeah. <laughs> Walk. Good girls. Walk through here. You stumbled last time. There's a big rut. Good girls. Careful. Good girls. It's funny, I'm thinking that little hill at the start was there. Um, it's probably the steepest. It's the one Mabel was really pulling on the most. So we're heading up the steep hill again and we'll try and get some shots up here um, as the years have gone by and some of the smaller stuff has died out, especially the, the fir and spruce. It's revealing we have um, quite a, an abundance of mature maples in here um, and it's just ideal because we can set up a gravity fed system to tap some of the maples that are in here. And it's on my right, but it's obviously right now is probably the hardest time of the year to see it. But up around this corner in a little bit, we should be able to start seeing some of them. And obviously if it was fall, you'd see the foliage, but. On the right, there's just a lot of uh, very sort of junk fir and spruce and it's natural as forests are. I think there was a lot of clear cutting out here before we got here and that's, that tends to be the type of species that comes in. They tried to leave some maples, but as soon as the sun hits the ground, a lot of the seeds for those you know, areas like this here, you can see there's a couple of big maples right in there and that's part of the work we want to do. Some wonderful mulch for the forest. We've been discussing that and you know what to do with some of those junk trees and as much as we need wood chips around the farm itself we also want to be leaving what we can out here in the forest our, our goals out here are you know i don't want to use the word harvest but um we've had a forester through uh, our province here in ontario has a program called the manage forest incentive program and so if you kind of actively manage your forest for better health and that can include timber um 
you get a tax break. So we've been in that for six years or so. And on the left, they're very hard to see right now, but is uh, is our ridge where we got uh, the farm name from and where the name of our road comes from. But it's uh, dominated by white and red pines and it's really just spectacular and there's quite a few throughout the rest of the forest too of course it's just uh, a lot of small maples out here well i'll do a video at some point and we'll walk through just even if it's not with the horses walk through there show all of the pines that we have up there yeah. and the other trees exactly that'll it's... be a video coming soon there's no bugs of, that we can come out here again. They're kind of hard to see, but it's interesting if you've seen any of our videos or pictures that capture our ridge or our hill. And that's what you see is our, is our white and red pine. I'll put a couple pictures at the end of this video. Yeah, and all the girls are just loving this. We're getting their happy snorts. Good girls. Um, I think these two are going to make an absolutely fantastic logging team. Yeah. Yeah. Just on a light basis, we don't really have uh, you know large mature tim timber mature hardwoods. Um, I mentioned some mature maples, and I was talking with respect to, to tapping them for sap, but and for maple syrup. But um, there's some fairly big poplar out here, or uh, trembling aspen. It goes by a few different names around the world. Um, it's not a high value wood and it's kind of like a soft hardwood so those will be a bit heavier and anything um you know saw log size we're, we're not really looking for that the thinning is to promote more bigger trees over time uh mostly from a beauty perspective but anything we do take out that's got potential to to be used as uh as lumber then uh, yeah we're certainly going to take advantage of that we don't have a mill yet ourselves it's it's on the list but uh both of our neighbors have one and we're welcome to use them anytime which is nice but i think like a lot of people like us and she our, moved away from that hole yeah, our neighbors are all the same we all kind of like having our own stuff oddly enough you know you, you share and you help out but I, i'm kind of the same there, there's a tendency that when you know you want to borrow something with a neighbor, especially when it comes to farming, they're in the middle of using it. So, um, yeah, it's unfortunate we can't see our big forest pond really right now either. And that soon enough we'll be able to see it. We don't have a turnaround to be able to take the horses down there with the cart. Certainly riding, we could walk down one of the trails to access it. Is, That'll be soon. Is just oh. up here, but um, within uh, six weeks or so two months I guess once the leaves drop it's just again it's beautiful okay careful through here girls good girls some careful steps it's funny how they've picked up on some of these commands that uh, that I've learned just from fellow fellow youtubers and I really like that at first they didn't know but they've learned that if I use the words careful or careful steps they had no idea what that meant when they got here and now they know that they, they step a little bit lighter they tend to pick up their feet a little more because they know they're getting into somewhere that isn't necessarily as smooth and just constantly blown away by their intelligence and their ability to pick up on those things yeah And just their willingness, it's, um, it's, it's always amazing. And especially out here, I'm, I'm actually now not so much worried, but it's kind of funny. I can see them um, <laughs> balking a little bit when we go back to the roads, because it's certainly a lot softer out here. And I know that that's... Uh, We've certainly seen the speed that they'll pick up. When they have soft, the, yeah, soft both the Percherons and the Belgians, you know, the, yeah. and that's just no surprise there, of course. Um, I guess one of the advantages we've noticed on our our roads are all gravel around here. Um, it's done a really nice job of keeping their hooves in, in pretty good shape. 
it's not needing trims, although they're due, but, uh, and without the need for shoes on those types of roads either. So we will shoe them this winter and that's strictly for traction. So that was something I hadn't noticed. Uh, you might've just heard a snapping sound. So Jenny just, uh, it was a, a small twig, but that's the kind of thing they're going to have to get used to as we take them in for logging. And like, again, she didn't box, she didn't spook. So that's, uh, very, very pleased. We don't know how far back their history goes and what they may have been used for before the last um, owners had them. Um, I'm, I'm sure we've mentioned, but these two were um, were film stars and television stars. But anyways, they were used on, on tel television film sets for the last three or four years, I believe. And, yeah. Uh, before that, they may have been used for various farming and logging activities, um, but we don't, we don't know. They certainly, there hasn't been anything. I've used them with my little Pioneer Homesteader to do some disking so far. Uh, there'll be a, some plowing getting done later this year, and they seem to know exactly what they were doing. So. And they're certainly acting like uh, the bush is nothing new to them. Yeah which is great. So. Okay, careful steps, girls. Careful. Walk. Good girls. Walk. Good girls. They're just doing so good. <laughs> Obviously, with the, uh, the stabilizer and the gimbal that we have, just not really seeing just how much we're moving yeah. around in here and it's really not phasing them it's at all. Even their britchens are, um, well, Jenny certainly isn't there, so. Mabel's kind of holding back the load, but I find that when there's not, not too much weight on these, the wagon pushes a lot more, but these trail, these Pioneer carts are just, they just don't have that tendency to really want to roll when we hit hills. And I know that they're, the front may have been holding it back a little bit also, but... So yeah, I think we'll... We've got another couple minutes and we'll be back out again and we'll turn them around and try it the other way. See how that goes. Oh yeah. yeah. Not much different, it's just that the hill coming down after is quite a bit longer. But less steep yeah. and... Uh, Obviously, there's no difference with things like corners and stuff like that. It's just the other way. But strictly for rider comfort, I do want to fix some of these more bumpy spots. And the wagon, too, that we have, it's a trail wagon, so it has a really nice beefed-up suspension and everything. But that's fine if there's a few bumpy spots, but I'm finding it's quite, uh, it's quite common out here and because... The tractor takes them so well and between the suspension and the seats. And obviously in the excavator, there's certain spots. I have metal tracks on it, so there's certain spots I'm very well aware of going over a rock or whatever, but for the most part, you don't really notice anything. And obviously when we're walking, we don't notice anything, so. I think they're also going to make good trail horses once they're ready. Yeah, once they're ready for sure, right? They, they're not ready yet? No. We're Je start, Jenny, starting to see a bit of sweat, I'm actually, which is great. Jenny might be ready soon. She did great the other day. Yep. As, as, as soon as I get her out here, and as long as she listens, she'd do great out here. Okay, Mabel, I'm not comfortable out here yet, but... Ha. Ha, bit girls. Ha. 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 Okay, good girls. Careful steps. Careful steps. Okay. And so right now I'm just kind of pulling them through right some long grass and stuff. And again, no hesitation whatsoever. Um, which to me is just fantastic. Because obviously a lot of the places where we may need to skid logs out of, um, you know, they need to have the ability. So we've turned around now and we're just heading 
back the other way. Um, sorry. They need to have the ability to kind of head, you know, straight into the forest, either forwards or backwards, and, you know, grab a log. And oh, Mabel's just such yeah. a good puller uphill, eh? Yeah. Which is great. Again, Mabel's the one that needs that exercise, and we don't want to push Jenny too hard with that kind of uh, kind of thing. And we're very fortunate there isn't a single spot in here where they'd ever have to skid a log uphill. Certainly straight, so again, I don't want to push our, our sweet Jenny too hard on stuff like that. Just keep her loose and we find light work like this. And she, she just loosens right up. If you're wondering why we don't want to wear Jenny too hard, she does have a, some arthritis on her front right shoulder. And so we give her a really nice supplement and eventually we'll probably have to do something a little more serious just to keep her, her comfortable. But I find if we don't happen to get her working in one way or another, just her, her movement around the pastures isn't enough and she tends to stiffen up over, over a few days more so, especially when she gets up in the morning and things like that. But um, if we can, if we keep her regularly on this cart and doing a little bit of exercise, it's, uh, you know, it's orders of magnitude better. It's, it's very strange. And, uh, but as I understand, uh, arthritis is that type of thing where the best thing for them is some light work. So eventually she won't be able to do the cart work anymore and that's fine. So we'll just make a nice riding trail horse by then. Yeah. And, uh, that should coincide nicely when we're actually ready for to start bringing another team on here so but what's great today is uh mabel is just uh, it's just wonderful and we're gonna start doing some single cart stuff with mabel uh, just to take some of that uh. fat off yeah it is what it is eh? yeah she's a fat girl so i wish there was a way i could figure out to do that with her myself because i'm in the same boat so I've got a little roundness I need to t work off. Maybe we can take turns pulling the cart. <laughs> well, good girls. You want a little break? Okay. Yeah, this is a bit new and you can have a break. Stand. Okay, girls. Careful steps. Careful, Jenny. Good girl. Careful. So again, I'm not doing much steering. I'm just kind of... They're, they're doing a good job and I'm just watching not, not even their heads out here because they're doing so good, just more... They happen to go off a bit. I can feel the reins more than anything. But I'm just saying that because uh, if you want to turn, or at least just a little part, then you can. Okay? Good? Because they're doing fine. Just keep them walking. You know how to do that, right? This part I don't like. You know what I mean? That little Careful, she, Jenny. She stumble a bit there? On that wood, yeah. Yeah, so I'm going to come through with clean up all that kind of stuff. Um, and I may have to just fix a few spots with a few buckets of gravel there before we even bring Sally and Izzy out here. But we can trail ride with Izzy and Trail stuff? ride, yes. And so the next... See, stuff like that, right? That probably hurt her. It certainly hurt my knee. I want, uh, I'm going to stop them at the muddy spot. You're going to have to get off. I noticed a piece of wood sticking out that way. Okay. okay. And that's the kind of thing you have to be really careful about when you're in the bush is, um, is that right? Broken trees, yeah. you know, like say one of these little trees is broken. It's a, and if it's sharp enough and they're just going forward, they can literally stab them. Right. Yeah. So you're always watching for that kind of thing. Um, just when it comes to trail riding, right? Like a spot like this, right? Where there's a big hole there that we might not see. Um, a rock. This, I'm going to show you the spot up here when we get around the corner. Um, see, and stuff like that on the side. Eh? I guess there's a, a tree there. When we get around the corner, um, 
you know, you know that spot on the trail, there's like a long piece of the bedrock that sticks out. Yeah. And it's very steep. Not steep, but it's like a drop by about a foot on the other side. That's the kind of thing where if they're just on the edge of it and you're riding, they may slip, right? Yeah. And that big of a drop. I can slip off. Yeah, exactly. So. So there's going to be a couple exciting videos soon. Like we said, we're going to be doing our first trail ride with Izzy and Sally shortly. And we will be taking a walk through the forest without the horses. And we'll show you guys all of the trees we have. And where we plan on doing work this winter and fall for walking. So right here is the trail. If we go down there, which we'll do once we go for our trail ride, and our huge pond is back there. Might be able to see it a bit through the trees there. But hopefully by next year, it'll be all cleared. Careful, Jenny. Good girls. Careful, Jenny. Good girls. Girl. Boo. Stand. That looks awesome. <laughs> They're doing um, great. She did good on that spot I was telling you. The rock back yeah. there. It was Jenny's side, obviously. Yeah. And yeah, she did really good. She, her, one of her feet slipped a little bit, and this spot's kind of like that too. But well, she's very good around rocks. I know that. Yeah, it's like they, 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 go, may have, they may have had exposure. And, she goes up on the hill at the house. Yep. Where the rocks yes. are. So she does fine. And I rocks. had all four of them up there this weekend. This that what? Really bad. Eh? I had all four of them up there this weekend. <laughs> well, Mabel came up, and Sally was behind her, and Izzy almost came up where we go down. She, mm -hmm. she went up and she hesitated and then like, I couldn't like support her and encourage her quick enough before she turned around. I was trying to keep Sally from going to the gardens, of course. Bad Sally. <laughs> oh, I love my forest. I mentioned there'll be a video where we'll walk through everywhere without the horses and then our trail ride and we'll go down to the water yeah. it's not the nicest at this time of year because it's got that weed oh, we can or whatever that water. swamp weed that's on it so you don't really see the water but that goes away by before winter gets here yeah. super nice good old beavers it is just a essentially a beaver pond Yeah, like see, broken six. I did come and cut some needlewood here. Yeah. Some skinny white pines. That's why I thought I cleaned it all up. You can see them there. See the branches? Yeah. But yeah, we'll just come through here, like I said there. It's, it's, a lot of these will go. We might be able to keep the odd one, but we'll see. Like these little stick trees everywhere. Yeah. Um, and we'll bring the chipper. Okay. And then just all this little stuff and then shoot it off to the side and then we don't have to worry about it. And then if for some reason I had to get in and say like skid that log out down there. Yeah. See the tree. Yeah. One of these trees or whatever. Like it's, that's probably a single horse job. Yeah. You know, and finding a way in and out of there just to get it to the trail even. And then, you know, it's not, it takes two seconds to take them off a logging cart and bring a single down when it's really that difficult but they're sweating really nice yeah and not like in a hot but it's too hot sense and it's, no it's in a they're working yeah mm. easy girls i don't mind if they pick up if they want to trot a little bit here i'm just more worried about jenny there isn't uh, anywhere near as sharp of a turn it's not anywhere near as um steep right so if mabel wants to do her little dancing that's fine <laughs> When it's not? Yeah. Okay. Jenny Mabel. Let's 
so she might give you a bit of a... She really likes this hill, right? So don't be worried, Mabel. Pulls a bit. Just like last time, they stop right when they get to the top. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. Good girl, Mabel. in the forest, Harley. That's hilarious. I think she heard us the last time. Uh. Or she's just being a really good girl and just saying hi. My dream is to gallop in a field like this. Huh? My, I want to gallop in a field like this. Okay. Do you have any idea how much I can't wait to get a mower? and then I'll let you go. Not a little bumps. Not you guys, it's us. Cool. Yeah. Ow! That one hurt. I flew out of the seat. Me too. Me and Mabel was gonna go. It's home time. Home run, let's go. Hey, Lily. Hey, Borat. I feel like that's the speed I need her when I'm more riding. She not pick up that right shoulder as high as everybody else. She could be going the same speed as Maple, and I just, just because of how she steps. Easy. Where did you guys do? You guys never come from that. 
down there and they just did that on their own. This is what you can do. When they get to here, they walk. See? Keep going, girls. Keep going. No, no, you can park. 